Okay, folks, so I'm going to try and show you now how to do the following on your smartphone, okay? And that is how to do a spreadsheet calculation, all right? So um, the first thing you do is you need to go into your Google Drive account, or you could have installed the Sheets app, whichever you want, okay? And we click the Create New button, okay? And we go to Google Sheets. All right, and this is taking a minute. Super. So the first thing I'm now want to do is name my sheet. This is really important that you do this, okay? Because students forget to do this all the time for me, okay? Always. It's ridiculous how often I get sent stuff by students where it's just untitled document, and and unless I have unless it, I, I not can tell through the email, I have no idea who sent it to me. Okay, so calculations spreadsheet. Okay, so done. Okay, so next we want to start lo looking at our data. Okay, so let's say I'm looking at an example of rainfall. So I take, click the cell that I'm working at. Now, when you're doing these, I find personally that it's often easier to work in what you have stuff going down in columns than going across in rows. Okay, but that's just me. So day, and then click the next one, rainfall. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to have Monday. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, actually, hold on, I'm gonna charge it, plug my phone in, it's pretty low. I don't want this to die. Okay, great. So, oh, by the way, if you're, say, if you stick, you just click a second, like, oh, wait, I can't get, it's not letting me type. Usually, if you double tap, it'll let you to type. If that's not working, you just click here, the enter text or form, okay? So, I think I'm on Thursday now. Okay. Friday. Obviously, this is much quicker and easier to do on a laptop or even on a tablet. Um, but a laptop or a desktop computer is much faster. And now I got my days of the week. Okay, so I'm now gonna put in total. Okay, now so next we're gonna add in our rainfall values. So another thing to be aware of when you're doing this is unlike I'm always telling you in maths, when you're using a spreadsheet, you do not include units. Okay, so say zero millimeters, okay, um, five, um, three, zero. Now, obviously, I'm just making these numbers up. They're not really that important. All right. And nine. Okay. So, next thing we want to do is, well, how can I get a sum total? So, I've got a few different things here. If I click the first box here, okay, and then you click this little button, little circle on the bottom right, I can drag down and select all of my cells. And straight away here, I've got a bunch of functions that are appearing. Sum equals 24, okay? And here's the formula. Look at that. Equal sum, sorry guys, equal sum brackets B2 to B8. So this cell here, 0, is B2. B8 is the sum, that, oh, when we said the sum, 9. So, from, so it's getting the sum of, or the total of, all of the values in the cells from this one here, B2 down to B8, okay? If I wanted to type... If I if I have my phone isn't let me do this automatically, I can type it in as well. So what I could have just done instead of that, let me delete this first of all, okay, is if I was like, okay, well, I want to get this on the click here, okay, and then I could have just gone into equals. So e type putting in equals on a spreadsheet is telling the spreadsheet I'm about to enter in a mathematical formula. So S U M. Now, the computer, the spreadsheet needs to know, well, what are my values, okay? The sum of what? It's giving me an error now because I haven't finished the, the bracket, okay? But okay, so, right, what's my first one here? It's B2, okay? So, B2. Then you go and put in the two dots here, a colon, okay? And say, so what's my last one here? B8. And then all I got to do is close my bracket, hit the tick button, and I would have got my value that way. Okay, if I want to get an average, always label your um, cells, same thing. Okay, so let's see if we can do this now. 
Okay. Average. Oh, dear. I was worried that would happen. So it's not, if I do it that way, it's automatically going to fill in this box here. But I want the average to go in here. I want to go in this one. So I have to now manually type it, okay? Um, if I, okay, average B2 to B8. And there we go. So now you've got the mean or average. When I say average, we mean at mean average, okay? So adding up these seven numbers and dividing them by seven, okay? So that's the first thing we've got to do, all right? Let me just click. Now, let me just... So just give me one second here. Chart. So if I wanted to make a graph of this, select the cells that I want to use for my graph. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did this again. Okay, so I select the cells that I want. Okay, let's just stick with the numbers. Okay, I select the cells that I want, and then you click here to the plus button because I want to add something. Okay, and I got chart. Okay, and it gives me my options of charts. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to change. I don't want to have a. I don't want a bar chart. Okay, I want a line graph. Okay, equals. And now we have our chart. It. This is how. So. Let me see if I can move this around, and I want to make it a bit smaller, so it's still fairly easy to do. Okay, now if I were to share the, if I wanted to share this work, all I would then need to do is take a screenshot of this, and then you have it saved to your phone, and then you can email it to me, and you have your work done. Okay, so that is how we use a smartphone to do a spreadsheet calculation. All right, um, I hope this helps. I'm also going to be putting up a video on how to do this with a tablet or a computer okay so hope this helps keep up the good work folks and remember to wash your hands